What is joint replacement? A joint replacement is an artificial device that we use to replace the end of the bones with a joint saw. Uh, the most common joints that we replace are the hip joint and the knee joint, although a lot of people have shoulder replacements, finger joint replacements, even ankle replacements. And what happens in arthritis is that the end of the bone begins to wear away. So if you look at the knee joint here, you see this is the end of the femur or the thigh bone, this is the top of the leg bone or the tibia, and the cartilage or the white shiny stuff that you would see if you ate a piece of chicken, you look at the end of the chicken leg, there's that white shiny stuff, that's cartilage. When that wears away, the bone ends begin to rub on each other. And that becomes very painful, and so what we do is we replace the end of that bone with a metal cap, we replace the top of the tibia or the leg bone with a metal tray, and that becomes the patient's knee replacement. Similarly, in the hip, which is a ball and socket joint, we see this model here where the hip bone or the top of the femur or the femoral head has been removed and has been replaced with a metal stem and a ball, and the socket's been replaced with a metal socket and a plastic insert. So this is a total hip replacement or a femoral replacement. Other joints are done also, such as the shoulder and even the ankle, but the most common joints are knee replacements and hip replacements. When is joint replacement surgery necessary? We do joint replacement surgery when other options have failed and when the joint is completely worn out. Okay, so if the, the cartilage is completely gone on the end of the bone and the bones are really rubbing one on another and the patient is having intractable pain and limited function, then we would recommend the joint replacement to take away the worn out end of the bone and replace it with the, the instruments that we showed you before. Is joint replacement the only option for arthritis? No, there are various stages of arthritis. Some people come in with very minimal arthritis and some intermittent pain. And in that case, we would not recommend surgery. We would try other modalities such as medications, exercises, weight reduction, possibly the use of a cane or a crutch. There are injections that are available. So someone who has intermediate or moderate arthritis of the knee joint we might recommend some lubricating injections that are available. It's only when the joint is completely worn out that we would recommend surgery and a joint replacement. How long would someone be in the hospital after joint replacement? Typically, patients are in about three days, okay? They usually come in the morning of surgery, they have their surgery that same day, and they usually stay about three days afterwards. Obviously, if there's medical issues or other complications, they would stay longer, but most people are either back at home or at a rehabilitation center by three days. What can a patient expect after surgery? In the immediate post-operative phase, the first day or two after surgery, we get the patients up quickly, get them out of bed, and start them moving right away. So usually the patients will have their surgery that morning, and either late that evening or early the following morning, we'll get them moving. The biggest thing that patients notice is pain relief, and that's the main reason for doing a joint replacement, is relief of pain. Um, and that's the one thing that I hear over and over again when patients come back to the office is, I can't believe how my pain is gone after the surgery. Can you expect full mobility after joint replacement surgery? Well, the general rule is that the motion before the surgery is probably what you're going to get after the surgery. So if the arthritis has gotten so bad that the joint is relatively stiff, then it's hard to regain that motion. Um, if the joint is pretty flexible before the surgery, then people will regain that motion. It's rare to go from a very stiff joint to a very mobile joint after the joint surgery. How long will it take to return to normal activity after joint replacement surgery? That's very variable. Uh, and, and I always, when patients ask me that question, I always ask them what they mean by normal activity. Uh, because people have different ideas in their mind about what returning to normal will be. Most people are up walking the day after surgery and are walking relatively well within the first week. Most people will return to pretty much their normal activity by about six weeks, and most people will return to sports activities by about three months. And again, that can be very variable. Some people are very motivated and very aggressive, and they get back very quickly. Some people are a little slower with their rehab and are a little more tenuous and fearful of the new joint replacement, and they may take some time longer to get back to their normal activity. But it's about six weeks. How long do joint replacements last? Well, like any mechanical device, it really depends on how people take care of them. Most joint replacements will last approximately 20 to 25 years, but again, it depends on what the patient does with that joint. It's just like a car. 
If you drive your car slowly and carefully and change the oil, it's going to last you a long time. If you abuse it and don't take care of it, within a few years you need a new car. And the same thing with joints. People who are very aggressive and abusive to their joint or participate in heavy-duty contact sports or impact sports will wear out or loosen that joint much faster than someone who takes care of the joint and proceeds more slowly and follows the precautions. What precautions should I take after surgery? When we talk about precautions after surgery, we really break it up into both short-term and long-term. Obviously, short-term in the immediate post-operative period, we're concerned about wound healing and the soft tissue, so we ask, ask the patients to be a little extra cautious with motion in certain positions because if it's a hip joint, we don't want the ball to pop out of the socket. If it's a knee joint, we worry about the incision is still healing. So in the beginning, we are very cautious about things like crossing the legs or bending too far or getting into positions that might get the joint into trouble. Once that six or eight week period passes and we know the soft tissue is well healed, then there are general precautions of not being abusive to the joint, avoiding high impact activity, avoiding activity that may damage the joint surface or loosen the joint over time. Where can I get more information on joint replacement surgery? You can get more information about joint replacements by dialing 1-866-WINTHROP or you can visit our website at winthrop.org.